those mistakes and you pick yourself up again and you always see the vision in front of you that you want to be great and you want to do great things. As I stagger across the dance floor, I hear this sound. Bang! I get it quite regularly. Man, you've been so lucky, you've got so many opportunities. I say, like, I work hard for my bloody life. to the question is, you've got to create content. You've got to create content that positions you as the expert, create content that positions your product or your service as the go-to, and then you need to distribute that out into the world so that people can take action on your message. So if you want to build a business that has a waterfall of clients coming to you, knocking on your door, bashing on your door, you need to create content, you need to distribute it so people can come into your ecosystem and you can build a business based on your trust, your rapport, and your expertise. Go get them. Cool, so uh, Andy, mate, uh, is there a right or wrong way of doing content? You're like the expert in it, you're putting heaps of stuff out there and video content and on stage as well, but in your mind, as an expert, what do you think someone should be doing, especially if they've probably got no capital or no money there? Yeah, it's, it's a, we're moving away as a culture from the polished performer mm. with the millionaire haircut and the Rolex <laughs> watch, for example. We're moving away from that to yeah. the real person because the person that's getting or winning the game now is the is the odd so-called ordinary person mm. that that has not climbed Mount Everest yeah. or swum across the Arctic Circle? But what they have done is climb some specific mountain of how to overcome grief or how to mm. overcome uh, a fear or how to break out of a relationship because they've done it. Yep. And it's actual steps of what they've done, mm. right? And it's the documenting of that. Yeah. And then you know helping people realise that they can do it too. Really. Yeah. yeah. So it's regular people helping regular people. Really. Yeah. So once we've, someone's got their content, they're doing videos, what should be the next process? You know, do it ourselves, like stay up late, wake up early? Yeah, <laughs> Yeah. unfortunately, yes. Um, look, what, what other choice is there? Yeah. You know, let's make no mistake. You know, there is no shortcut to success. Hey mate, how are you? Good buddy, I'm in your building. What level are you on? There he is. G'day my man, how are you? Good man, yourself? Very good. Come on through. Awesome. Just gonna touch base with you. Yeah. Tell you what I'm doing, yeah. and then just see if there's a way that maybe we can collaborate somehow. Yeah, definitely man. There's probably something I can show you right now just to give you a bit of um, insight right. into what videos to boost and why. Yeah. And when they're obviously cool, yeah. important Sweet. Surprises. The actual time that people spend viewing videos, no one ever talks about. The average view time, as long as that's longer than like the worst case scenario, ten. Yeah. Worst case like fifteen plus. Yeah. Like some of these ones were like two, like two minutes average view time. They're mm -hmm. the ones you boost out and get going a lot faster sure. because you need more bang for your buck. Yeah. Beautiful. Too easy. Thanks, so, bud. Done. Awesome, mate. He's done, man. Yeah, we'll crack on that, and uh, and in the meantime, we'll just just keep our conversations up. Done. Thanks, brother. He's done. Cheers, Cheers, mate. I think with uh, what I'm doing at the moment with Facebook advertising is uh, through self-learning, so to get someone else's expert opinion on it, um, there's some things that I was doing the same, some things that I can tweak and make it a little bit more impactful. Uh, I think there's a bit more of a strategy that I need to do now rather than just just post and boost. Yeah, just, out, yeah. Yeah, just post and boost, post and boost. So now I've got a strategy. We're gonna do two to three videos a week have them on, go for a week, check out what's working, what's not, pump some money in for that one for the next week, and then um, try and, and then keep that on 
for minimum of 10, hopefully 15 second views. If it drops below, we'll, we'll knock it off. If it gets above, we'll put some more money in it. And then just keep on that momentum until we can get to the event where we're a few weeks out and we, then we just smash, smash into the event. Yeah. Hey mate, how are you? Yo, what's going on? Not bad, mate, you? Back to the grind. One of the speakers in India, he lives in Melbourne, he's, from what, he's, what it seems like, he's pretty um, well versed in Facebook advertising. He's got a company that does it all. So I'm just trying to network as much as I can and get as much value, you know? Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Yeah, I'll talk to you on the Wednesday. All right, mate. Thanks, Lindy. Bye. Thank you. What I've realised in, is uh, everyone wants to be an expert. Yeah. And if you're an expert, then people come to you. Yeah, yeah. You know, which is already happening to me. Putting myself out there, edu trying to educate with what I know, people are already asking me questions about certain things, you know what I mean? And come to you to get advice. Yeah. Um, the trick is to be able to have that advice readily available for everyone at different levels. Yeah. Free, low cost, medium, high. You learn from those mistakes and you pick yourself up again and you always see the vision in front of you that you want to be great, you want to do great things. Hey mate, how are you? Good to see you, man. Good to see you in person, buddy. Wow. Thanks for coming, <laughs> man, being part of the crazy. Awesome, man. The reason behind the books is purely just to get some exposure. So we're doing more of a table close or more of a herd close? So it's not a shoot off close, it's a little bit of a strategy there. Tell me, but. Uh, you it, you know, 10? 15, 20? What do you want out? Name me, I don't know how many forms we have. Just just put yeah, put 20 out and okay. then obviously some back. First come, first serve, 50 people from my room. Go guys, go. I'll be taking questions down here. Let's go. G'day guys, my name's Glenn Twiddle. I'm the promoter here at the Total Success Summit. I brought Arnold Schwarzenegger out to this country a couple of times and I've just left sitting in the audience. I don't sit in the audience for many speakers and I sat in the audience for Phil Britton and I tell you, I'd seen him online. I'd read his book, I'd seen all his materials and stuff and I'd never seen him live and what I witnessed as a promoter, as a guy who has seen everyone, I've been trained by everyone on the planet and I tell you what, this guy's the real deal, there's so few mentors, communicators, uh, coaches in this, in this game that can do what Phil does, that have the genuine caring for an audience, which is why I allowed him to kind of come and share the stage with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Man, Phil, if you ever get to see this video, I don't know if you will, mate, but I'm gonna chuck it up online. I really hope you uh, you do see it, because I wanna say a personal thanks to you, man, for really adding something to an event that was gonna be good. You know, when you got Arnold Schwarzenegger, Michelle Bridges, and all of that lineup, mate, you were such a standout for me, and I'm so impressed, and I thank you for being a part of it, mate.